Alrighty, well, let's just get into this, shall we? So this video is a response to Gabby Hanna's video, Escape the Nightmare. And I just want to give you guys a spoiler alert. Gabby was actually the nightmare, so sorry, I had to spoil you. So I'm going to go over some of the points that she made in her video that are just completely false and give you guys the receipts to back that up. But before we get into those points, I do want to let you guys know that Gabby and I were close friends. So when she acts like the victim and is wondering why all these people in her life who claim to be her friends are no longer her friends, you do things, Gabby, to make people not be your friends. What you did to me on Escape the Night is the reason we are no longer friends and the reason why I talked badly about you being on Escape the Night. Just because we were friends before that doesn't contractually make me obligated to never say anything bad about you or never not be your friend because we were friends in the past. You did this. You ended our friendship, not me. The way that you acted on set of Escape the Night is why we are no longer friends. And if you want an example of what a friend is like on set of a production of your friend, take some advice from Colleen, who literally gave birth months before, showed up on set, was breastfeeding, went home after hours on set to her baby waking up and then having to be a mom and then coming to set the next day and doing it all over again. And the crazy thing is, Colleen was my number one support system. Being on set of a production that's millions of dollars and having all this pressure is a lot. But Colleen didn't complain once and she was my number one supporter, making me feel good about things and helping me de-stress and telling me that everything was gonna be okay. Meanwhile, you, who's also my friend, is making life on set a living hell by being disrespectful and rude and mean and foul to not only cast but crew screaming at the director demanding things and calling a production assistant a dumb cunt is not how you act on set of one of your friends not even just your friend any set in general that's not how you act regardless of your mental health issues this is not how you act okay and that is why we are not friends gabby and that is why i don't like you it's because of what you did to me you are not a friend. That is not how a friend acts. That's just not my definition of a friend. So my main receipts in this, there are some screenshots, but I think my main receipts are people who were actually there who experienced what her behavior was like. And I don't think any words of me describing what she was like, or even her words of describing and owning up to what she did can fully express and convey what it truly was like. Um, but I am in the process of figuring out how to get the footage, the raw footage and raw audio to show you guys what it was actually like on set with her and the way that she acted. But until then, this will have to do. And I do want to say a huge thank you to Rosanna for coming forward with her Twitter statement, expressing what it was like on set and kind of debunking some of the things that Gabby had said in her video. And also the friends who were also on Escape the Night who liked that tweet and support, I appreciate you. It means a lot to me because you guys are my biggest receipts that I have to really prove that Gabby was the one in the wrong in this situation. So I do want to go over some of the key points that she talked about in her video and debunk those with the receipts that I have. Okay, number one, I never once started this. Gabby thinks that I'm the one who started this. During interviews and stuff, People asked me like what it was like on set or what was season four like and I was honest I said it was awful because one person in particular was awful and made it awful but I never once said your name Gabby and only one out of all four seasons someone like had an issue with dying <laughs> oh there was one in season four too really sure. yeah that was <sighs> season four was my least favorite to film by far why just because drama of this one person on the cast who just made it hell Really? Mm -hmm. And how do you stay out of like not talking about drama? You never talk about things. I would call people out left, right, I and center. Know. Honestly, I, 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 I could have, and I could have like exposed a lot of receipts. But yeah. I don't know. I just, I guess I don't put out that energy. People were able to figure out who it was based off your past actions. It wasn't hard for people to connect the dots because you've you've set the standard of who you are online. So that wasn't me. That was you. It also just frustrates me of this whole thing of like, how could my friend do this to me? I mean, I've already expressed this. Gabby, 
you can't treat your friends like that and expect them to always just keep things hidden from people or not share my truth of my experience with you just because we were friends. You ended our friendship and therefore I got to express my frustration and my trauma and I could have been a lot meaner about it, but I wasn't. I stayed respectful and I never once said that it was you publicly. You're kind of the one who outed yourself by confirming that it was you. I also never begged or pleaded for Gabby to be a part of the show. Yes, I wanted her to be in it because she was my friend at the time. She was going through a lot of shit. A lot of people did not like her, still don't like her, but I was her friend and I wasn't seeing through the bullshit that everybody else was picking up on. And as a supportive friend, I wanted to give her this opportunity to be on a show that has thousands of fans and the opportunity to be on this platform that has like a billboard and a lot of respect towards it. So excuse me for giving you this opportunity, hiring you on a project that means so much to me. So I'm sorry that I was being a good friend and inviting you to be a part of something bigger, but Go ahead, live in your delusional world. I'm sure it's comfy there for you. You also claim that ADHD is the biggest reason that you acted the way you did on set. But just so you know, half the cast had ADHD and did not act in the way that you did. So I'm sorry, but that is not an excuse. Then you go into your eating disorder and the whole food situation. Every single person is sent a form days before we start filming to get people's medical information and their allergies and any food restrictions. Gabby didn't fill this out until the day we were on set. Miss Gabby, can we do a little BTS? Of course. Moment? How is course, she? Darling. Look at, she's got her yellow hair on. We're doing nice. She's practicing her script. <laughs> <laughs> Filling out my medical information. <laughs> You're supposed to fill this out beforehand so we can get everything prepared and make sure that we have your, your dietary restrictions accounted for. So I don't understand how you expect things to be done for you when you don't do the work yourself. And I also would like to just take a minute to defend Daniel who literally went above and beyond for not only you, but everybody else on set. He had a million things going on and yet he still managed to have the time to go to Whole Foods and get you your three healthy meals that were so specific of like exactly what you needed and yet you still didn't even eat them. You literally just left them out to rot. So what was it that you were actually trying to do, Gabby? Was it that you actually needed the healthy meals or were you just trying to be difficult? Because I think you were just trying to be difficult and throw around some power. Okay, so moving on to the wardrobe that you had issues with. Oh, is this the outfit that you approved during your first fitting? I don't remember forcing this outfit on you, Gabby. I'm pretty sure you approved this during the first fitting and you actually loved it. So we made you a custom version of it that was just a different color that matched your skin tone and your hair. The issue is, Gabby, you had two more fittings after we made you this custom look that you just didn't show up for. Even to the point where we offered to meet you at your music studio that you accepted. And when the costume designer, who was actually nine months pregnant at the time, drove across town to go to your music studio, you stood her up. And again, there was no way for us to make sure that your wardrobe fit until you showed up the first day of set and it didn't fit you, surprise! And you were complaining that it didn't fit you, but you also didn't make it to the previous two fittings to make sure that it fit you. So make it make sense. I don't know how you expected a Cinderella miracle to happen to make sure that you were comfortable in your wardrobe when you didn't show up to the two fittings to make sure that it could be comfortable. <sighs> so things took a turn on set after day two um, when she refused to come back the next day at her call time. So this is when everything kind of climaxed in her being on set and showing her true colors. It was the end of day two. It's about 4 a.m. We're all getting out of our clothes and getting ready to go home. And the PA comes to let us all know our call times for tomorrow so we can be ready for our hair and makeup and... Um, get day three started. So the PA tells Gabby a time that 
she has to arrive the next day and she completely refuses, cusses out the PA and tells him that she refuses to come. So, of course, we reach out to her manager, let him know that, hey, Gabby is refusing to work under the contract that she signed and that she needs to show up on set. And the her manager was extremely apologetic and was basically saying that he was gonna drop her after this. Like it was extremely unprofessional. Like she, he's had so many issues with her. And so she did, she showed up on set the next day, but the director and I met and we're like, okay, this is not, this is not it. We need to kill her off the show as soon as possible. So it can be a peaceful set because she was causing so much chaos that we just needed to get rid of her. Now, there have been some cases where we do scripted death if someone has a heart out and they can't make it through the whole filming process. And that actually included Tana this season because she had to go to an award show. So we had planned that Tana would die in episode five. And with the whole issue with Gabby, we're like, we can't have her for one more episode. Let's get rid of her. So we planned the double death, which a lot of people were upset about, but now you know the real reason why there was a double death. The next day I took Gabby aside and of course she had a million things to say. She had all these excuses of what was going on with her and um, how she's the victim. And I'm in producer headspace. Like I need to make sure that this production goes as smoothly as possible. There's millions of dollars on the line and I am not about to let this girl fuck this up for me. So I'm just, nodding my head like yeah girl don't worry everything's fine like we're good like it's all good like i totally understand what you're going through but in my head i'm like this girl is screwing me over so hardcore she's made my life a living hell on this set made things way harder than they need to be but you know what i'm just gonna suck it up so she doesn't screw anything else up anymore and that's what i did and i am proud of the way that i handled myself because i could have gone off on her very hard but I don't think that would have been a good result on set. Uh, I obviously didn't want her walking off and I had to do what I had to do to protect me and protect the show. So if that's fake Gabby, well, it's what I had to do. She also, in her video, complained a lot about the set hours. Girl, you did season two, you know what you were signing yourself up to, but also that's just what set life is. It's a lot of hurry up and wait but I know you think that the world revolves around you and how dare anybody make you wait. I mean, how dare we pay you thousands of dollars to sit in a luxury trailer and do nothing. Sounds like a really hard gig, Gabby, to just have to do nothing but get paid thousands of dollars and also get to be on a show that's going to be a platform for you to maybe redeem yourself. Maybe get people to like you and enjoy you a little bit more. So then her video goes into her apology and my fake accepting her apology. So same with before where we're on set, it's like I have to do what I have to do to protect this project. And by accepting your apology was me protecting the project. You're pretty unstable and I don't know what to expect from you. So I'd rather pretend that we're good than actually deal with the craziness that you bring. I don't think you realize this, Gabby. Maybe you do, but you're scary and you make it very hard for people to be honest with you. And if I was honest with you, nothing would have changed. You're so delusional and you think that you are always going to be the victim. Even months after when I finally did share with you my frustration of you on set, there was no getting through to you. There was always just an excuse. So maybe understand that the reason why all these people who are fake friends just don't know how to cut it off with you because you're scary and you don't make it easy for people to be honest with you. Also, I wanna share a story with you guys about about a week after we wrapped up shooting. And by the way, after she was killed off the show, everything went so smooth. Like everybody had clear skin. We were all thriving. Um, the season got progressively better and we were all just in good spirits. It was literally a negative energy had been removed from the set and we were all so happy and positive. But anyways, a week later, we had to do the press shoot where we shot the billboard and the promo shoots and stuff. And of course, she just had to make that just as difficult. She was complaining about her call time because even though she was contractually obligated to come to this day, she had a gym appointment that she couldn't miss. So she was trying to basically be on set as 
least amount of time as possible and she kind of was just thinking like oh i can just get my makeup done shoot out and go but that's not how it works there's so many rotating things there's tons of other people it's again not always just about you gabby like i don't know what else to say it's just the world doesn't revolve around you she's just so entitled to feel like her time is more valuable than others meanwhile again colleen has a newborn baby that she's breastfeeding on set and managed to make time to be there but your gym appointment is way 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 more important i'm i'm so sorry you have to go to the gym gappy that's that's way more important than the contract that you signed to be here for the full time that is required but because things weren't going her way on set she had a major meltdown and i'm hoping to god that i can find the audio or some video form to really show you guys how much she blew up on this poor woman who was just telling her her time of when she was ready on set. Uh, it was too much for Gabby and she called the woman a dumb c and then stormed off set and we didn't get to finish her promo shoot. So anyways, stay tuned for if I can find the footage or the audio of her to really convey how awful she was on set. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, until next time, I'll see you next time. Good damn bye.